Hello everyone, Sunnyvale here. Uh, today I'm going to be going over some footage from last weekend's tournament, uh, Legends of Runeterra tournament. I played in my very first Legends of Runeterra tournament this past weekend. It was the seasonal. I went 4-1, which wasn't quite good enough to get in the top 32, but I'm definitely pretty happy with the result given my relative inexperience of this game. And uh, I recorded all of my matches so I could go over it and show it to other people um, afterwards so that we can figure out, you know, where I can improve. That's something I'm always interested in. Uh, I had a blast. I'm really looking forward to the next one, and let's get into it. So before we get into any of the games, I'm just going to show off my three deck lists so that you know what I'm playing. The first deck was a just standard discard aggro. Well, I guess it wasn't standard discard aggro, but the strategy is pretty standard. Only one augmented experimenter, no, uh, uh, crowd favorite. I'm not a huge fan of that card, although perhaps like one of them might have been good in retrospect. Uh, I was pretty happy with the deck, at least in testing, but it didn't do too well during the tournament. Um, and, that, you know, part of that might be my error as, as far as building it. Second deck was Zoya Felios. This was probably the most unique of my three decks. This is Splashing, Piltover, and Zahn um, for a few reasons. A Ballistic Box to generate cards... Uh, Subpersible, which is just fantastic in this deck. It was a 5-5 five -five that drew a card when it was elusive almost all the time. And then a bunch of removal, which was something I was really big on in uh, this tournament was the PZ removal. Also Rummage, I felt like it was just so good because there are so many ways to generate a lot of cards. So a much more aggressively slanted Aphelios build. There's Pale Cascade, but no Healing Touch or Guiding Touch or whatever that card's called. Um, in this, and uh, just really low to the ground. Lots of one drops, uh, some two drops, and relying on the card draw um, to sustain late into this, late into the game, and also the champions themselves. The third deck, this is pretty much as cookie cutter uh, TF Fizz as it gets. Two suit up, one mind, mind meld, uh, one thermo beam, um, just as added removal, and that's basically it. So, three decks, all three of them are playing three rummage and three get excited. Um, so that was my plan. Going into the ban phase, my goal was to ban anything that looked like it had um, looked like it had Avalanche. That was a card I really didn't want to go uh, go up against, and so that was my f going to be my uh, highest priority ban. And uh, second highest priority would be uh, anything with. Aphelios, because they can grind me out pretty well with all their life steal, Life gain? Life steal. I don't know what things are called in this game, so you're going to have to bear with me. All right, let's go through all the games. Uh, I plan on showing as many as possible. Uh, I'll try to speed through some parts that are uh, a little less interesting. So I went ahead and banned the Freljord deck, as was my plan. They banned Discard Aggro. I mean, honestly, all three of my decks are pretty similar, <laughs> even though they have different champions. Um, so I think you're supposed to pick the lesser of your two decks when you uh, when you queue up for this. I don't mind playing against either of my opponent's decks here, but um, I don't know. I guess I just felt the Felios was better tuned. I don't know. I, I'm not sure, like, I know how to select decks or anything. I'm still new to it. Okay, so um, this hand with TF Fizz, I want to discard most of it, but I'm kind of into the Mystic Shot because I'm going to have to deal with early aggression. I think I should have redrew the rummage. Oh, I just redrew everything? Okay. I guess I just want to make sure that I can have a unit then. I don't know. Maybe keeping the Mystic Shot would be fine. This hand looks uh, kind of sketchy. I think the thing to do here is fizz on turn three and then, well, uh, I decide to just go ahead and block. Um, so I think my plan here is to, oh wait, no, no, I'm attacking. Well, it's roughly the same. I wasn't planning on doing that, right? I passed first, and then I let my opponent... Hold on, let me just... Sorry, just go back. This all happens very quickly. So my thought process was to just pass the turn, but then they played that, and I would rather offer the trade because I think I need to trade against the... Uh, trade against this guy. Can't let it just rack up points of damage uh, against this super aggressive deck. Um, alright, so I just traded my one drop, if, if I was going to offer the trade, oh my god, I don't, okay, so like, I have no idea why I did that, it just doesn't make sense. Um, yeah, this just looks bad, <laughs> this just looks like I'm going to get owned, okay, so, 
Got to deal with the 3-3. So I think my plan was get excited, pitching the... No, I have no idea what's going on. Suda block. Okay, so here's a big issue, right? I'm going back. I haven't seen this game for the last three days or whatever. And the, the things that make sense to me now are totally different than the things I'm doing. So that's not a good sign to start out with, right? Like maybe these are reasonable plays, but like they're not things that I think I should be doing. And that's a problem. So I need to figure out which lines are better. The ones that I took in the moment or the ones that I'm talking about now. Because in my mind, the thing to do would have been to trade it off the Fizz uh, with the 1-2. But on the other hand, if I do that, then I'm stuck with using Get Excited on their 3-3. Three, three. And I guess I have to discard the suit up. I don't know. They also don't really have a way of dealing with a 4-4. Four, four, so, like, this is kind of okay. Opponent's going to take the damage. They're going to play something on the way back. Iron Ballista. Iron Ballista. I've got a couple choices here. If they go straight to attacks, I think i got to get excited it. Yep. Okay, so they're going straight to attacks. <sighs> Block the 3-3, three, three, right? Get excited the 4-3. I've got to do it. I can't let them rack up damage against me, right? Okay, good. We're in agreement. Um, getting rid of Zap because I think that it's going to fill the same uh, point on the curve that TF is. Here, I, I don't understand this play from my opponent. Seems like she just let go, but I was happy to see that. Alright, so they're going to hit me for some. That hits me. I guess it does make it so that my spell doesn't resolve, so this burbly fish is a little further away, but I think that's fine. Okay. Alright, stress testing is not bad with get excited, but I think the first thing I do is take out the 3 2, right? It's that, or like copy something, or get excited, discard the stress testing is an option. But I think, like, given the opportunity to use Twisted Fate to just eat the 3-2, it seems pretty solid. Oh, okay. Again, not doing the th same things that I thought, like, not coming up with the same lines I did previously. Not a good sign. What is my thought process here? Like, I, am I trying to flip TF? It looks like I'm really far away from doing that. Don't I just want to spend one mana and one card? to get rid of the 3-2. Like, if I Mystic Shot it, I'm spending two mana and a card. I guess what I do here is I Iter of Improvement their one drop, so I have a 2-3 in order to block. And now I can also attack with Fizz. Just, uh, okay, well, now I can't attack with Fizz. Um... So what's my plan here, using... I think I should just attack with Fizz. I'm trading one mana for their three mana. That would have been just been good. Right? Like, yeah, it means... I, I, didn't need that. I mean, like, I have the get excited for it, but why get excited that when I can just save the get excited for a, a different threat if I need to? I don't know. It's also possible that... Well, deal with misfortune, but doesn't deal with gameplay. Okay, well, there's my plan. Down to 11, so it's getting kind of close. Uh, I think I just want to try to flip TF, right? They don't have a ton of answers for TF. And... Flip TF is game over a lot of the time. Okay, pick a card. On my next turn, either... I don't know if TF flips immediately, but it's like very quickly. Alright, here we go. Yeah, okay, if TF wasn't flipping already, that rummage is going to seal the deal. Okay, so I'm just going to rummage away this, or sorry, Pearl Cannon away this, then go ahead and rummage. 
I realized at this point that I missed a card from TF, but I think that's fine. Like, I, I think I'm getting all three cards off this turn regardless, so I don't think that's an issue. Biz also happens to flip, which is nice. But I think I just start playing out my Burbly Fish, right? Yeah, so Burbly Fish, then copy it. This makes a lot of sense. Yay, now we're making plays that I agree with. The suit up is incredible also. Any against any amount of damage based removal. So serious. You're prettier when you smile. Alright, let's do it again. thinking about so long there. Play another burble fish. Gold card hitting game there. point. The uh death ray is actually not too bad here. They're gonna try to kill something? Okay, sure. Suit up. Suit up screen against that. And they're taking a lot. Assuming they have no way of dealing with this, then they die. Right? What was the purpose of this? Just because I was doing it anyway? Oh, so they'd have to, like, if they wanted to block to block TF, they'd have to block the fortune. Okay, that's fine. Alright, up a game. Feels good. So now I'm up. I'm playing the Aphelios deck. My opponent plays the Burn deck again. Alright, so against Burn, this hand actually looks really good because I've got one drop, two drop, and then a couple of spells. It's like generically good. Um, it doesn't play defense the best, although Ballistic Bot, I guess, is fine. I mean, what really am I looking for? I have a few one drops that might be better. I suppose. I think the you know a ballistic bot into get excited is like pretty solid play. If, like maybe the mystic shot can be replaced by something if anything, but I think this hand's pretty solid. Let's see what past me thinks. Oh hey, I'm agreeing with past me. I think at this point I'm checking the deck list, uh, which is why the music is cutting in and out. You can also hear eating in the background. Okay, Felios is like even better than Mystic Shot, and I drew the Mystic Shot anyway. Okay, so I play 1-2, I'm gonna play Zoe, they attack, now a whole lot of decisions here, attack with Zoe, gets through. I never know when to use the super cool star charts, like that is still a mystery to me, like when are you supposed to play them? Before you attack with Zoe again? Alright, so they play the Grenadier dude, um, I was going to play Ballistic Bot, but I think into oh my god do I do it anyway wow what a maniac I guess the thing I can do is I can wait on till their attack and play mystic shot I'm pretty much priced into mystic shotting the three two here though oh then I can block with uh, with ballistic bot on the one two and then finish it off with thermo beam okay so they play a four three um, that messes with me. Well, I mean, I don't think I'm in that much of a better position had I made the other line. So what's what's the thing to do here? Yeah, I think playing Ballistic Bot was not as good as just doing the defensive line of Mystic Shotting their 3-2. And then I could use Get Excited discarding, like, Hush, which is pretty bad here on the 4-3. Although I'd still be taking two from the Corsair. Um... So on this board, if I play a Felios, that's pretty bad. If I, I can just thermo beam their four three, or like get excited. That seems fine. Oh my god! So here we go with another play with nothing that I'm thinking of. Oh, okay. Now I remember why I did that. I did that because that way I could get the um, bot up to a three-three, and then I feel really good about this. 
Yeah, getting the Serpent here is really good because that lines up against the 3-2, the 3-3 lines up against the 4-3. Okay, so now I remember why I did that, which I didn't see here. Um, what am I doing? Um, my plan is to finish it off with Thermo Beam. Ooh, that doesn't seem good. <laughs> okay, good, good. Side against it. All right, it goes to my next turn. Four mana. Start off with an attack, of course. Get the star chart. <clears throat> I think I'm supposed to play the flight here and then play into Aphelios. Oh, they did this, and I'm like, I want to preserve my life total? Do I? Yeah, because Mystic Shot into Aphelios is great here. Great. The Aphelios also stands in front of the 2 3 pretty well. Crescendum, did that make any sense? Uh, I mean, if I get Ballistic Bot, it's pretty embarrassing, right? If I get... Okay, well, that's not sticking around. So I guess I Crescendum and get excited on the same turn, right? Just discard that Zoe, that second side of the Zoe. If I had Calibrum here, I think that would be a little better because if I hit Ballistic Bot, it's like kind of awkward. It's gotta be the Zoe, right? Or maybe the Hush? Hush is pretty bad here. Okay, we can do Hush. Hush. <laughs> it's the other Zoe. <laughs> it debated myself. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay. Alright. Please be a goat. Oh, it's a goat. Okay, that's great. Um, they shouldn't attack with the 2-3. I think they decide against it. I prayed. Yeah, get the gem. Easy. Um, okay. Butcher. Yeah, that's going to be a 3-3. That's obnoxious, but we got the Calibrum. That's further obnoxiousness, but it's okay. So I'm at 13. Yeah. Calibrum, getting Severum. <clears throat> if I can play that on Aphelios, I think I'm pretty happy. Calibrum. Looking for trouble. It found you. Hold on. Was I supposed to do something else there? Like if my opponent responds with like kill Aphelios, it looks kind of awkward, right? Although I guess if that happens, I don't really need the Severum right away anyway. Okay. I think Zoe's also about to level up. So, granted, given what my opponent did, it's got to be, like, play something and then sever him, right? Like, play the flight. Okay, never mind. It's got to be, like, the line has to be play something, get sever him, and then gain four here, right? Okay, good, good. Oh no, why? Why did I do that? I have the attack token. Oh my god. Well, you learn a lot when you watch yourself play. I think I'd be happier if I was just at four higher uh, life here. Maybe not. Maybe it's not to the point where I'm scared enough to need that. Yeah, three, four, like nice stats. I'm never playing the Scourge, right? So it's gotta be the Traveler. I don't need Elusive. Although like, it is pretty sweet with uh, Zoe's level up that I can get in with the trickster, but it makes sense to get the three four. Okay, good. Um I'm playing Severum on defense for some reason that doesn't make any sense to me. And I'm playing it on the flight. No, I'm playing it on 
This doesn't make any sense, because then they're just not going to attack. But maybe that's that's good enough. Or maybe they'll just attack with Gangplank. And the reason why I didn't use the gem there in order to make it a 5-5 to trade with the Gangplank is so that I would get the card immediately, of course. That means that I just need to chump block with Aphelios. Okay. Uh, this... I... don't... what? Okay, silencing for the overwhelm. Wouldn't it be just so much better if I just, like, made Aphelios big enough to trade with the Gangplank? Because, like, now my opponent just has a bunch of stuff, and I've got barely anything. I guess I have these rummages. Like, what am I thinking? What's that? What's that? Oh, I'm thinking of just leveling up Aphelios. Okay, that, that line made, like, zero sense. So, let's pretend I know how to play, and let's figure it out. Okay, so I should definitely take Traveler. I think I just play the Traveler, right? Block four in front of the the gangplank and I don't take that much damage um I guess I still just don't have good blocks against much else I can use the hush to kill it to silence the 3-3 three, three. I th man I think I'm supposed to just rummage here and try to dig for something more useful anyway that was a disaster um yeah Okay, so do this, get Crescendum, start the next turn with a Crescendo, one cost Crescendum. That's not the worst now that we're in this situation, but it kind of was the worst getting to this place. Okay, yeah, sorry, speeding up the animation. Um, okay, Aphelios is big now. Uh, I was going to start with Crescendum, but drawing the Veiled Temple made me want to start with that instead. Lounging Lizard. Fortunately, my opponent is running on empty here. It's very nice for me. Okay, so we do that, get Severum. Um, just playing Severum makes the Felios huge and unable to for them to deal with it. And Gravitum instead of Infernum for some reason. I guess like the extra life steal isn't going to matter. Okay. I think this game is pretty much in the bag at this point. I'm at 20. I have uh, leveled up Aphelios. They. I guess they get to over. Like they get to level up Gangplank on the next turn, but even if they have leveled up Gangplank, it's like. Not going to beat Aphelios. Yeah, if they can't level up Gangplank here, which they can't, and the game's over. Okay, wow, that was a uh, that was illuminating. I learned a lot. Okay, here's round two. Um, my opponent has TF Aphelios. I'm banning that right away. I don't mind playing against the pirate deck. Is that what the pirate deck is? I guess so. Misfortune and Gangplank are pirates, right? That would make sense. People keep on calling it the pirate deck, and it's like. Is there like a pirate sub theme or something? No, it's just the champion. Uh, champions are pirates. It makes sense. All right, and I don't mind playing against the uh, Timo Ezreal deck, though my opponent shows me that I should maybe be a little more concerned. Anyway, so this first game is going to be Aphelios Zoe against Timo Ezreal. Um, this one goes on for a long time. I remember that. Okay, so what am I going to look for? Uh, a fast opening hand. I think that I don't need the Ballistic Bot because I'm generating an extra card with the Lunari Duskbringer anyway, so I can replace the two on the right. Keep the two on the left for a good opening start. Let's see if I agree with that. Ooh, I keep the Ballistic Bot? I don't think that was useful here. Okay. Um, Only a fool would enter battle yeah, so like this looks like Lunari, turn try. three Aphelios, right? No, I think that with this deck, the way I have it built, I want to get the goat down on turn two, and then I'll play Aphelios with the Nightfall on turn three, but I don't need to start cranking out the moon weapons immediately. So yeah, Mountain Goat, great. Get the extra pressure down. Okay, 
Okay, so they thermo beam it. Um, I think I'm just supposed to play Aphelios. If they kill it, like, it's not a huge deal. Attack first does make sense. Because I don't want them to have a unit in play and then be able to, like, troll chant or something. Although I guess that's not happening in this situation. Okay, can't let Ezreal go town. Just go and thermo beam it. Alright, so I just play the Veil the Veiled Temple. Seems like a good turn to get down. <coughs> they attack me for four. Alright. Here, get Aphelios down. Get the mana of recuperation. Calibrum straight for the kill on that guy. I kinda of feel like Crescendo might be better. Especially with active Aphelios. A true Felyorian welcome. Obsolete. Yeah, I guess this makes sense. I'm not sure this Calibrum should have been played here. No, that seems right. It seems right to play the Calibrum here. Yeah. I'm going to be able to play two cards next turn. Oh, and I get a card off of it? Yeah, definitely. How was, was I just, like, not counting? Oh, yeah, it's two cards after Aphelios. Okay, okay. Yeah, definitely getting the next card seems like it makes a lot of sense. They play a Foundry. Um, Lunari, rise. I go ahead and attack. Bait attacking with the Ballistic Bot, but that seems kind of bad because it's going to get huge and I'm going to be able to clear the way of the 2-1, uh, 3-1 rather, and I can Infernum it down the road. So I don't think trading it makes a whole lot of sense. Okay, gotta start with Gravitim, right? We're trying to ride this Aphelios train. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. Okay, Gravitim the 3 1, I think. So that if they want to block, they have to block with the peddler. Oh. Why did I do that? Do I have a way of answering the 3 1? I feel like that only makes sense if I have a way of answering. Okay. Um. Mystic shot on that. I think that's fine with me. Die. Gems are superb. Bad for the teeth, though. I don't know about playing the Mentor of Stones. I like I got to the stage in the game and I just wasn't sure what to do in order to try to, try to close the uh, gate on my opponent as fast as possible. That, the Mentor does make a lot of sense because it makes a second huge threat. Um, and I should just like... Because my opponent, you know, spent three mana on playing the Foundry. Just uh, getting stuff out makes a lot of sense. I... I I picked Severum there, which, uh, I think I should just go for Calibrum first, then Severum. I think I was debating whether to play the Ignition, and I don't think this is a spot where you need to play it here. Alright, so I go straight to attacks, right? Probably diversify. I probably actually want to buff the 2 1 just so I have as many like sized threats as possible. Alright, so let's see. No, I buffed the ballistic bot. What is my theory there? It's just going to be blocked by the 3 1, right? Why not just buff the 2 1? I like Foraverosa. Okay, so they're chump blocking anyway, but they probably have something for the Ballistic Bot. Nope, they're blocking the Ballistic Bot. They kill the 2-1. I guess they could have killed the Ballistic Bot. What was I hoping to get with that Mystic Shot? So I do that to get a Mystic Shot to kill the 3-1? This doesn't make any sense. I think I should have just spread out my stats and attacked with everything. And also, now I have this, what, Severum that's completely worthless? 
that just didn't make any sense. That that sequence was just terrible. Well, I mean, actually, the Ballistic Bot does survive, and now it's going to be huge because of these gems. <laughs> Unless they can kill it right now, which they only have two mana up. Oh, they're going to Mystic Shot it. Okay, it's gone. I don't have too many, like, ways of deploying here. What am I supposed to do? Play three one-drops? Sever him just to flip a Felios? Okay, sure. Um, my opponent emotes here, so I emote back. I think they think that they have the game locked. Um, I guess having Ezreal flip does does a pretty good job of that. All right, I drew out of this. I got lucky with it. I remember now. <coughs> Excuse me. So I hush it immediately so that they can't go off with spells. Then I Gravitum the Puff Cap Peddler, hoping to go to an open attack and being able to win that way. Um, Heard there was a little fella asking those. for me. Sub Percival's not bad. So my plan is to go in with as many flyers as possible. Sorry, elusives. Um, and then hopefully draw the two units can't block spell. And I was thinking, like, maybe I can Infernum something, but that was also like, you know what, if Ezreal gets to stick around for a turn, I probably just lose. Okay, so they do the, each player draws one, I take a hit from that. Alright, so, going on to my next turn. Oh man, I let them have it? Oh boy. <laughs> Alright, so I do this, then my opponent plays the three one that frostbites it, right? Because they can't let me attack with the overwhelm guy, um, unless they've got the winds thingy, but that's super expensive. So that's risky. So I'm like, okay, I gotta, I gotta figure out a way to punch through. Um, so I'm just gonna draw a bunch of cards, right, right, right past me. Okay, yeah. So we're rummaging here. Oh wait, no, wait, what? Oh, I just decided to get excited here. Why did I do that? Shouldn't I rummage first? Oh, I remember why. It's because I uh, needed to make sure that I spent mana so that I would get a refund from the temple. Okay, so I get excited here, discard random unit. Here, mystic shot that, that's fine. Why did I do this? So that I could get the moon? But didn't I already play two cards? Is this my second card? This might be my second card. Anyway. At this point I realized that, uh, yeah, maybe my opponent is uh, actually going to get me here. Timo, and then here I'm like, okay, well I gotta find the opponent's uh, cards can't block, or some burn stuff. And sure enough, I find it with, uh, you know, six health to spare. So if they shoot me with anything, I can get through. <laughs> and Sir Percival is just gonna win the game. So that's what happens. I got lucky there, and uh, I won the game because of it. So 
I got lucky there. I picked the same, or I pick my discard deck. They pick the same deck. Yeah, they play the same deck. <clears throat> okay, so discard. Want to get Draven online? I think Jinx in the opening hand is always terrible. Um, I think I could have thrown back the Urchin here too, although it ends up being okay with the jury rig. Um, but the goal here is to just like curve out into Draven and then just attack, right? I do think that playing the Urchin on turn one is nice because then you get to attack with three on turn two. As opposed to playing Draven's biggest fan. Because like playing Draven on three is good, but not 100% necessary. I think I do it if I have two one drops, but here I'd rather play like a two drop. And knowing that I have the get excited in hand, I think I decide on Ballistic Bot. No, okay, I'm just going for the attack. My opponent plays the three ones, Frostbite's a two two, I attack with two one ones, they block with the three one, trade. It seems like a super aggressive trade to me, but I guess they know what they're doing better than I do at least. They play a three three. So maybe I'm just not like not attacking here with enough stuff. I wanted to kill the three threes because I didn't want to get hit by a troll champ. Like I want that guy to be dead <laughs> and off the board um, so I can't do crazy things with troll chant. I think this is where I make the mistake though. Is he here yet? I think I should have just attacked for four and then built up my board after because once I commit to playing the two one I'm not going to get a good attack unless I play get excited here which I think is a mistake. I think here I was supposed to develop get at least one more card on the board to get uh, the bonus from vision. Although, I mean, this does a lot of damage. They do Thermo Beam, one of them, but they're still taking 7, they're down to 12. All I've got is this Lone Ballistic Bot, though. Kinda gotta play into it. Yeah, they play Ezreal, I just play stuff. I think I need to just let them have the, the Puff Cat Peddler over here, anyway. Play my two guys, they kill my 3-2. Um, Alright, so now I'm just into open attacking for the rest of the game, right? Oh, wait, that actually changes things a little bit. So, I was going to open an attack, but now that I have Flame Chompers, I think it's better to play that. Get Ezreal off of my two ones. I split up where my attack was, so that, like, if they... Um, you know, had some removal, they'd, they'd still take three from the 3-1. Here they have the Frostbite. Yeah, harsh winds. Okay, Ezreal is leveled up. He kills the Flame Chompers. I ignition, they're down to seven. But I've really got nothing here. Like, without a Jinx, it's just so bad. Just playing random House Spider is just going to get eaten by, by Ezreal. They even have a Teemo, which I, I guess the Teemo doesn't matter a whole ton, but... <laughs> Ignition, they're going to attack with their evasives, elusives, whatever. Um, I play the 2-2, two -two, that's just going to get eaten up by the Mystic Shot. Oh, no, they drew a, uh, they have a Get Excited. Yeah, stop the bleeding, makes sense. But anyway, I'm pretty much just priced into making open attacks every turn. It doesn't go well, like Dream's biggest fan isn't going to make it better. I don't know, maybe it's possible that my opponent just had this the all the way. Like, they didn't have troll chance, so they didn't get punished by me killing their units as they came down without troll chant up. Um, and yeah, they had the, the frostbite on a really crucial turn where I would have gotten a spinning axe and an extra three points of damage in. Um, but I don't know, maybe they just had it the entire way, maybe it wasn't even close at all. That's well, definitely possible also. Like, I think my opponent kind of knew what they were doing more than I did. So, yeah. You're between me and glory. Alright. Hit them for three. There's one get left, get excited left in the deck. I've just gotta keep on jamming and hope I hit Jinx, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just gonna speed through this. There's there's nothing really, like, there's no interesting decision, I think, for the rest of the game. I'm just playing out 
all the things. Even with a Jinx, this is kind of awkward because uh, um, Jinx can't flip on this turn because I've got the Spinning Axe, but it doesn't matter. They just kill me with Ezreal. So that's that. We've got Discard Aggro against Pirates, and this one... This one bugged me. So I think, first of all, I think my decision here is is terrible. Um, I think keeping Chompers is fine, but I think I would I should have kept House Spider just for more aggression early on than they did. I think against this deck, you need to get in early. Drawing the Rummage is fantastic, yes, but it's not enough. Like, I need to go one drop into powerful two drop. I already have discard fodder. The Ballistic Bot isn't going to be incredible. Like, that's that's why Ballistic Bot is in the deck for the most part. So here, I consider playing Ballistic Bot, uh, which would not have been great. Instead, I opt for another not great play, which is to play the Battlecaster, rummage to discard these two, and then pump the Flame Chompers and attack the 3-2 the with it, which is, like, that's okay, but I think I needed to get more out of my visions, you know? So, like, this is okay, but I think it's not good enough. Even on life, a little ahead on board, um, but a hand that's absolutely garbage. So, I think this really just came down to the redraw for the most part. Alright, they play a 2-1, I landed up against my 1-3. They play a 3-2, I landed up against my 2-1. They go ahead and attack, and... I go ahead and line up my blocks, just, you know, as I planned it. <laughs> okay, it goes to the next turn. I play another Ballistic Bot, thinking I'm going to pump with the uh, Ignition here. They play that. I can't really do much about it. Precious Pet. Um, and then Ignition. And I should have attacked with everyone. Um, I've already talked through this game with a friend, so I like have a good idea of what was going on and things that I probably should have done. I think I should have just offered the trade of the 2-1 against the 1-1. I really didn't want to, but in retrospect, I think it would have been pretty good. They're blocking with the 2-3 anyway. If things trade, I think it's good for me, because then I've got like 6 attack on the board plus an ignition. I don't know. Well, maybe not. Maybe I need the Ballistic Bot to get within striking distance, but they get me exactly in the next couple of turns. Okay, so they play Gangplank. Big bad Gangplank. Um, I can't do much about it, so I just play my 2-1. Or... I guess I Ignition. I don't want my opponent to know the math, so I Ignition. I'm not blocking with the 2-1. I do some math wrong here, even with the Oracle's Eye, I somehow screwed it up. I thought I should end up at 5, which is the life total I wanted to, even though it clearly displayed 4. I forgot that Gangplank was going to level uh, on the turn that, or er, uh, prior to hitting me. Alright, Saboteur. Alright, so here I just fall one point short, and my opponent decimates me. Um, so I feel pretty good. I'm like, man, if they have, if they have the, uh, three damage to two things spell, then yeah, they can get me here, but that's about it. So I got to make my open attack in case they have a decimate or just another unit. I can't really stop that either way. They go block, 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 block. I bring them down to one, dealing seven to them, but then they get to decimate me before I get to ignition, which is kind of a heartbreaker, but re-watching this, I feel like my opponent just had a much better idea of what was going on than I did, so I can't feel too bad. All right, round three. <laughs> um, sorry, let's back up a bit. They have Stony Suppressor in this list, and that gets all of my rummage decks, so I'm like, you know what? I'll deal with Overwhelm. I'll deal with whatever the heck this, this Vi... Uh, Elise deck is. And uh, I think TF is, is really strong, so I'm confident in playing that into anything. So I'll pick the Aphelios deck first. Looks like we're against Overwhelm. Okay, so let's get rid of the five drops. Urchin into Goat is pretty good. Urchin, like, isn't the best on turn one in this, but I get rewarded by the 
Dustbringer, which curves or that wor which works and fuels the Urchin really well. Okay. So they play a Saboteur. I go ahead and line up the block with Dustbringer. Trade. Turn two, play the goat. We got a ballistic bot, which is good with the urchins, yes, but uh, I find that just putting more pressure on early on is, is good. Okay, so here they play Draven. Kind of a bummer, I can't do much about it, but that's okay. Just play, I'm just gonna go back on the offensive. Discard that, probably playing the goat next. They attack with Draven, yeah. I play the goat. So get excited is interesting. All right, so my plan here, I don't, I, no, I think this is a fine play. My plan here was just to attack with all of these, including the two ones, and use Tail Cascade in order to um, fight against Draven. I don't know, it might be too early for Pale Cascade. I feel like Pale Cascade's one of those cards that you want to play in the mid game. That's where it really shines. And using it earlier here is like negative tempo. Alright, so they play the 3 2. Uh, my plan's basically the same, right? Yep. Okay, they line up blocks. I go ahead with the Pale Cascade. Oh, wait, wait, wait. They do this. Which works really well for me because then I just get excited and discard a Pale Cascade. The Ballistic Bots are really useful here. Okay, never mind. I discard a Ballistic Bot. <laughs> what do I know? Oh, okay. Good, 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 good. <laughs> I'm trading two of my units away. Or I guess I'm just trading one of my units away. But like Gems plus the uh, Ballistic Bot is pretty insane. Okay, so I get a... Pretty big blow out there, get a couple gems, draw some Percival, pretty far away from that. Alright, what's going on? My opponent plays the 5-5, five five. I'm like, ooh. But there's not much I can do. I mean, like, am I going to double gem the goat in order to stand in front of it? That's hugely inefficient with, I, with the two ballistic bots in hand. Uh, wow, I skipped this block. I think I should be blocking with the 2 1. Because I need two rounds of combat to kill that. Anyway. I'm not 10. Although I think my opponent's just dead here, right? Do I play a Zoe before attacking? Oh my god. I should just go two attacks here! I'd go gem on my two Xanite urchins and attack for with five uh five three attack units. They have to have something or else they die. Now here they can just play a blocker. As they do, they play a four three. Um so I buff my Zoe. And then my plan is to Pale Cascade. I don't like this more than just going straight to attacks on this turn. Okay, so my opponent would go down to one. Um, so I can go for the win. Which is what I think I do. Just buff the Xanite Urchin. Oh. Now I can't go for the win. I think I just let this through. Let them be at two. Like, playing the plus one plus one doesn't do very much for me here. Oh, right, decisive maneuver. I'm sure they did not want to do that on offense. Well, that seems fine. They just prevent three damage. Wait, why did I do that? I just wanted to cycle it, I guess? I guess that's something. I could totally just die to this. Oh, but I drew a hush, so forget about it. This game's over. So what are they gonna do? Darius? Yeah. Darius definitely would've killed me. Uh, but I drew a hush, because I'm lucky, I guess. Oh, I guess I also have the paddle, right? 
Wait, what am I doing? Stun something. Oh my god. Okay. I'm gonna stun it, right? Good. Stun the Darius. Thank you, Pass Self. Um, okay, so Percival should be, yeah, so Percival should be on. They can only attack for a little here. I'll get the Suppressible. I don't think they can deal with all the units. Yeah, I play the Suppressible. Rummage at the end of the turn. And I go straight to attacks. Uh, no, I don't, because I I don't understand why, but I played a 2-1 a there. <laughs> is there anything that punishes me? I don't think there is against this deck. Like, I don't think they can get me from 10 here. But that's still just like, all these plays I'm making are just totally baffling. All right, TF Fizz, let's go. TF Fizz is ridiculous. Uh, I got rid of everything except the Get Excited because Get Excited can deal with Draven. All right. <laughs> I'm doing nothing for the first few turns. They play something with two health. I Mystic Shot it, pretty straightforward stuff. I still can't do anything on turn 3, but that's okay because I'm only burning 1 mana, and if they play anything, then I can try to kill it. They play a 4-3. Um, I th think I throw away... Zap here. Oh, what? Oh, no, 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 I remember this. I threw away the stress testing and then got rewarded by it with a card that I could play. What nonsense. Oh my goodness. Alright, I think I should have thrown away, like, the Zap Spray Fin or something. TF could help control the board, and then I'd have a backup TF in case they killed it. And if they didn't deal with the second TF, then I'd be able to flip the TF and go crazy with it. Alright, TF blue card, right? It's gotta be a TF blue card, right? Yeah, okay, good. Uh, Alright, the killing strike it, that's fine. I am even on mana, but up a card? That's how that works? TF is crazy, man. Legion Saboteur, if they attack, I'm gonna go ahead and block. This Fizz doesn't mean a whole lot for me. I think this game is gonna be about TF for the most part. Okay, another TF blue card. They play a 4-3, that looks pretty sad. I draw the suit up, and usually when you draw it and you can play it, you should, right? That would make sense. I want to get my spell count up for Burbly Fish, so that makes sense. Okay, good. Uh, why didn't I attack, though? Am I worried about something? Do they have Troll Chant? Even if they have Troll Chant, do I care? Yes, I do care. That would be a de dead TF. I would have to double check their list. If they, if they have Troll Chant, I think that not attacking is correct. But if they didn't have Troll Chant, boy, I definitely should have attacked. Okay, and we're getting close to the point where we're flipping TF, and we're getting close to the point of Verbally Fish. Both great things here. for uh, this deck. If I play Zap here, I'm really playing a dangerous game. Um, but I think that's what I just have to do. I think I just have to take 8 here. Ancient Yeti, also scary. What can I do? I can copy something, but I can't really play anything. I can uh, cast a spell and then play a burbly fish. I think that's good. I think like mystic shotting something and then playing a burbly. What am I doing? <laughs> oh, okay. I remember what was my thought process here. My thought process was that they can't kill me on this turn, right? There's no way for them to, for them to kill me. And I'm just going to flip TF on the next turn. Gotta trust your instincts. So I can just take all this 14 damage, most likely, and uh, and then be fine. Also, picking, getting away rid of the Mystic Shot seems terrible here because it's one of the things that one of the few cards that actually interacts with this. So I'm just not going to block. Yep, drop to five. Sorry, did I say four? I meant five. 
All right, TF is gonna flip. And then I'm gonna try to go off. I play Fizz for some reason. My thought was I can play Fizz then a burst spell in order to, to flip TF, but I should have just, I was gonna play a spell anyway. Yeah, so I should have rummaged then played Fizz, get rid of these pick cards. Oh no, stress testing. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Looks like I'm on a hot streak. All right, blue card, draw a couple cards. Alright, they play Wild Claw. What, do I need to discard that stress testing? Why don't I discard this pick a card? I'm not playing it. Oh my god. This line doesn't make any sense. Okay, so. If I kept that stress testing, I could just play it as a one cost spell, which is like. The best thing that's not part again. Anyway, TF is using his cards. I've got Burbly Fish. I'm playing Burbly Fish. I copy it a few times, but I think I definitely screwed up the sequencing there. So there's a second copied Burbly Fish. This is a lot of damage. Let me see. That's 16 damage, and I've got a Mystic Shot in hand. Um, so I go ahead and attack. Oh, they Troll Chant. So they go down to three instead. I just save a Mystic Shot, but like, this would have just been better if... Yeah, I just... So I go to attacks, I've got two Mystic Shots. And I've got the TF card also, so... No big deal. Alright, well... I think some of my plays were fine, but there was a lot of, lot of questionable stuff there. I'm sure. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Alright, uh, let's see. So they had TF Fizz, and none of the other cards are ones I uh, cared about. They've got Power Dagro and Discard Aggro. Um, they obviously banned Aphelios, which I think made a lot of sense. So, um, yeah. Alright, so I chose my discard deck first because I think that was lesser than uh, the TF Fizz deck. This hand looks great. Do I need to get excited? It's good for MF, but I guess I decided to throw it away anyway because Draven is already a discard outlet. Okay, so starting with the one drop, I've got Draven in hand. Doesn't make sense to play the biggest fan. Hard gun, I'm like, oh shucks. But I'll play House Spider, that's fine. They attack the 2-1, I go ahead and trade 2-2s. Two uh, game's about even so far. I do get to play Draven here. They play Misfortune. Oh, I remember this. I attacked with the 1-1 one one, um, because I was hoping for this exact block. If I can get Misfortune off the board, I'm super happy. So I go ahead and do that. It's not the biggest value play, but it gets Misfortune off the board, and that is something I'm really happy with. Okay. So I get the Spinning Axe from Draven, drew a Zonite Urchin, I'll discard the axe to draw a card. Uh, Draven is going to die here. So go ahead and do the draw thing. They've got Grandeer, can't really deal with that. Um, my plan is to play Ballistic Bot, and then I'll play Draven's biggest fan to get a new, new Draven. They get to hit me for two with the that guy. I'll play Draven's biggest fan. Okay. I draw Draven, play Draven. Um, okay. Play a 1 2. I guess I just dump my hand no more. No pay. So, why didn't I play the second Dravis Biggest Band? Oh, uh, no, that doesn't make sense either. I should also be attacking with the Ballistic Bot, too. Yeah, I should just be attacking with everything. Like, <laughs> I have I have more units than they do. I should just be attacking with everything. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna buff the Draven's biggest fan. I guess my thought was like I don't have many cards left, so just getting the ignition every turn is kind of nice. I think I just should have just played another unit and attacked with everything. Alright, 
they play Gangplank. I'm like, yikes, but hold on, that's not actually going to kill me yet. So I just go ahead and let them attack, play Ignition, they attack with both. Don't really have a great block unless I want to uh, trade. This is gonna hurt which for you. I guess I'm okay with now. My thought was I can use Draven's biggest fan to get another Draven. I guess I don't want that misfortune flipping. No, that doesn't make sense. Draven's so much better on offense than defense. Yeah, I think this was not good. I think I think I should have just kept that Draven around. Alright, so I'm just going to spread out the joy and uh, challenge something, right? No. Hold on. If I just spread it out, challenge one of them, and attack with everything, I guess if they have a removal spell, they drop to one, but then they die to ignition anyway. This is terrible. And so I made I made Draven big because this way my thought was if they want to block they have to chump block Draven. This was terrible. I should have just spread it out. I think this is lethal anyway because I don't think they get anything. They don't have anything. Oh, maybe. Okay, so they have Noxian Fervor. I could have just spread out the damage and they'd be dead to the cards in hand plus ignition. All right. Missing lethal, you know. Dropped two. I don't know what they have, but it's not really good enough. Oh yeah, this is actually, so, um, this was actually kind of interesting. I don't know, like, they got to the point where it's like, uh-oh, if my opponent has a fair in here, I'm actually in a lot of trouble. Um, but they didn't really have much. And I wasn't sure if I should block with the Flame Chompers or just take it or just go for lethal on the crackback. Is there any way for them to deal me seven after the two damage here? Like, if they play Gangplank, they can't even get a flipped Gangplank. Uh, I think I was supposed to just take this. But I think I talked myself out of taking it. Yeah, so here I am trying to trade. Now if they have an answer for the 2-1, they can actually do something. But no, they just have an estimate, so I just attack for the win. Okay. Um, yeah, more questionable plays. You know. Now I get to play with TFs. Uh, all these cards are terrible. Maybe the Get Excited is fine, but I think having like a reasonable start is better. Getting the Thermo Beam, I think, was pretty nice. Also, the uh, Horror Cannon is pretty good, too, to stop something like this. Oh, I just Thermo Beam this. I don't know about that. I should have thought about Horror Cannon a little harder, because Iterative Improvement wasn't going to be good initially, anyway. Alright, Ballistic Bot, Hired Gun, and I'm like, ooh, that's a little awkward. Goes to my opponent's turn, they play something that can kill it, oh, no they don't. So here, I just play a Poro Cannon, right? Because they're not going to kill the Ballistic Bot. So I let this happen, I want to take two, I play Poro Cannon to start getting an Air Force up, get my spell count up, and buff my Ballistic Bot. Oh yeah, and I'm like, oh, that's awkward. So at this point I'm pretty much priced in. My opponent emotes me. Yeah, if I'm playing the second Poro, I guess it's worth it to just play another Poro Cannon. So, how could have this been avoided? Because I feel like this is a situation that could have been something that wasn't so bad. I think I should just let the them attack into my Ballistic Bot and leave three mana up. Then I could kill the Jagged Butcher with Get Excited. But how does that look? Like, does that make my next turn better? 
I don't know. All of these daring poros are like pretty unexciting. All right. Well, at this point, I'm priced into playing the second daring poro, or like I played the second pro cannon, but Time to make some poro. I make the block on the two two because then I can trade the other pearl for it. All right. Here I play zap. Gotta go with the flow. Just play another two good. one. A little awkward because I can't get the second Poro down in time for this. Oh yeah, and they have a Jagged Butcher, which is also pretty awkward because like, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to trade that for it? If I have the time to iterative improvement, they're 2-2. Two, two, that's like actually not bad. Having a 3-3 three, three on this board is really good. But I think they go straight to attacks. So they don't give me that option. Yep, they sure do. Um, I think I have to line up blocks in this matchup. Like, I can't just keep on taking damage. <sighs> I can Mystic Shot to save a little bit more health. I do think I'm supposed to play Iterative Improvement on 2-2 two -two to get 3-3 three -three in order to block most of their stuff. And I think I just forget to do that. Instead, I copy Zap, which I can't even play. Oh, ugly. Okay, so it also kind of sucks because like now this Poro can't. There are no one health units on the opponent's board for this Poro to block. So uh, yeah, this this planning just doesn't make too much sense. Okay, they play Jack the winner. I think I get really lucky about this, right? They play Jack. I for some reason iterative improvement on their turn, which doesn't make any sense. Um, I think they emote me because they think they've got this one in the in the bag, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. So I went through the cop the the trouble of copying Jack. So I'm going to play him. Fishes. Yeah. Can't do anything about that. Drop the twelve. I think about t attacking with Jack. I was like, they just block with the two one, and then and then there are Jack's trade. I want to prevent them from attacking with Jack, but maybe that doesn't matter. All right, they decimate. Yeah, my plan makes no sense here. Like, I think copying Zap isn't the worst thing in the world, but. I should have like copied a one drop or something so I can develop my hand a little quicker. Here I get incredibly lucky drawing the Mystic Shot so now I can go get excited uh, Mystic Shot to prevent Sleep with the Fishes from doing any damage to me. It is extremely fortunate and I do not deserve it. All right. So that doesn't work for my opponent. They fervor anyway? Strike at their foundations. They bring me down to decimate range. It's a thing, I guess. All right, and now I go for the mind meld victory, and they've got nothing. Do I play Fizz here? Makes a lot of sense to play Fizz. Like, if they've got the decimate, they're going to win through mind meld anyway, right? All right, so now I can sleep with the fishes, Jack. Then uh, I can mind meld, and then I went through an, a removal spell. All right, somehow pulled this one out. I think it's because I drew the Mystic Shot in order to deal with Jack, my opponent's Jack, because I'm really low. Like, you can imagine a two points, an extra two points being something they could potentially push through at some point. All right, I Mind Meld. I think Mind Meld is eight at this point. What? Yeah, it's eight, so either two of the Fly, uh, two of the elusives are going to be enough. All right.
All right. Okay, and uh, this last match, I this was a very powerful strategy. I strongly recommend it. So I banned my opponent's... Uh, oh, wait, this is not it? This is back to the first one? Oh, it is. Okay, I guess I didn't record it. Uh, I got a walkover for the last one, so my opponent didn't show up. I strongly recommend your opponent not showing up. It's very good for your winning percentage. Anyway, um, so I came out of that tournament feeling pretty good about the way I played, but boy, after looking at it again... Uh, I feel like I was running around with a, like a chicken with its head cut off, and I wasn't playing all that well. It wasn't decisive. It didn't make a lot of sense. So uh, hopefully for the next tournament, that will be something that is changed. Anyway, thanks for watching. I definitely am really interested in any comments anyone might have. Um, so yeah, thanks in advance. I'll see you next time. Bye.